Hi there and welcome to another episode of Just A Few Things. I'm your host, David, and this is the show where, as always, we're talking about just a few of the really good things going on here in New Frontiers Church. Let's get to it. All right, we are jumping right into our weekly report. Uh, Last week in the episode, I talked about a church cleanup day in Summersworth after the meeting. Uh, And Isaac has given us some really amazing stories about what has come from that church uh, cleanup. Um, And it's kind of a long, it's a bit of a longer video than we usually have. So I wanted to get right to it, but I didn't want to cut any of it because this is all amazing stuff. It's like, it's like revival vibes kind of going on in this, in this story. And Isaac is also going to just tell us some more things that we can continue to pray for uh, as we're starting to pray for specifics of what's going on in Summersworth. Um, and things like that. So I'm going to turn it over to Isaac and we're going to hear about some really awesome things going on in Summersworth. Hey guys, Isaac here. Uh, So David just wanted me to give just a quick update on, you know, what happened on Sunday with our our Summersworth city cleanup. It went fantastic. It was a beautiful day. Uh, We had maybe 25, 30, maybe even more adults and children, which was honestly really cool to see the children get involved and families get involved. And it was something a lot of the locals actually noticed. I saw a number of comments on the Summersworth Facebook page that saw these families and young children getting involved and how great that was to see. Um, And then on top of that, I ran into a couple friends of mine who had noticed kind of what happened. um, And one, one friend who is part of a a local business board and and they, they meet on Monday mornings. And as the, the meeting was getting started, they were talking about this, group of people that were cleaning up the streets on Sunday afternoon. They're like, I don't know who these people are, but it was, it was awesome. And my friend goes, oh yeah, that's my, that's my friend Isaac. And I think he's with uh, New Frontiers Church. And they're like, wow, that's, that's great. Are they going to be here for the long term? He's like, yeah, I think that, you know, they're, they're kind of, uh, you know, starting to meet here and gather here and just want to do something nice to bless the city. And so they just wanted to communicate their thanks to us. And um, on top of that, I ran into another friend of mine who is, uh, lives right there at the bottom of the hill, actually lives right across from our building that we meet in there. And she woke up that morning hearing music playing. She's going, what's going on this morning? And she was just hearing the worship from our meeting because our doors were wide open. It was a beautiful day, obviously. And she was like, oh, it was great to also see people having a picnic outside and then just hit the streets and do some cleanup. She's like, I didn't know churches did things like that. And she goes, are all the people there a part of the Summersworth community? And I said, well, many of them are, but there are also a number of people from Rochester and Berwick and Dover that, you know, really just want to do something nice and be a blessing and serve the community. And she's like, wow, that's, that's amazing. That's so cool. So uh, just some really good fruit uh, and favor coming from just small little acts of kindness like this. We've uh, been building a relationship with the Stratford County Homeless Center as well. Uh, Just small little simple serving opportunities and I'm just praying and hoping that God continues to use that to that we can be a blessing to other people uh, uh, in need in the community. Um, so just praying that God continues to open doors. He's already doing that, but praying that he continues to open more doors for us and we can continue to have favor with the city, favor with the locals, uh, and just be building relationships with people there. So I'm personally very excited. Uh, I'm just uh, just grinning from ear to ear. Uh, and just really excited to see what God is doing right now in Summersworth, but really also in the surrounding areas in Berwick and Rochester and Dover as well. So that's the update and uh, looking forward to seeing what God does next. Way to go, buddy. That's awesome. Thanks for that video. And thanks to everybody who came out on, uh, on Sunday to go and serve in the city of Summersworth. Obviously, that was a huge thing and God is doing great work. So be sure to pray, be sure to keep getting involved and let's see God move in a big way in Summersworth or SOMO, SOMO as we're, as we're calling it. All right, last week, um, I lied to you guys. I lied, I gotta, come, I gotta come forward with it. I said that we were done with Ian's COVID challenge and then I had a couple of people email me um, after I was done filming the episode. And so we've got COVID challenge, Ian's COVID challenge is back. Throw the graphic up, Josh, do it. There it is, you guys know what it is. This one comes to us from John and Cindy Brasseau. And last week I also said how we valued dinosaurs and we valued creativity. This is a super creative and really awesome uh, COVID challenge. I'm gonna read, we've got some pictures that we're gonna throw up here. Um, so Josh, you can you can hit those. Um, but so John and Cindy, they, they do these barn quilts and you can see this first picture here. Um, this is one that her and John worked on together. Uh, they finished it actually in December. Uh, that next picture there, that's it lit up, illuminated. It's really pretty. It's a really cool uh, piece of art that they made. 
Um, the next one is the Big Dipper, and that's over the mountains that is inspired by their trip uh, to Alaska that they took two years. So this was inspired by that great Alaskan wilderness, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and the last one is a welcome to spring. And I love that because it's May, it's spring, there's green outside, things are growing. Uh, so that last barn quilt is a welcome to spring. Uh, really pretty, really, really skillful. Like I'm, it, I'm so impressed at how skilled and talented our church is. And John and Cindy, thank you for showing us this because this just continues to confirm that we are uh, a family of very cool people here at New Frontiers Church. Um, so thank you guys so much for submitting those. Uh, those are, I didn't know barn quilts were a thing. Um, and I love this. I think this is fantastic. I think I need to get some form of a housing area out into our territory here so that we can do something like this because I love this. That's fantastic. Thank you guys so much. You know what? Here's to you, John and Cindy. We didn't here's to you to anybody uh, because we didn't do some good in the world. So I'm, uh, you're getting a here's to you uh, for those barn quotes. So well done. All right, we've reached the end of the episode and that can only mean one thing. But I only have one, I have one more thing to say. Isn't this gotten kind of ridiculous how it's the end but I'm still talking? Anyways. Um, I do have one more thing to say, uh, and that thing that I want to say, actually this is a little bittersweet, but next week will be uh, the last episode of Just a Few Things for the Foreseeable Future. Um, team Rogers is going to be adding one to the team, it will no longer be a duo, but it will be a trio. Uh, and in the midst of that, it's going to be a little hard to stay on top of this um, <laughs> every week. So uh, we will be taking uh, quite a long break. I don't know if it will come back or not. That to, remains to be seen. That's, we're still wondering about that, uh, but we will be off air for quite a while. Um, we'll do a big formal thank you. We'll do the big sappy send-off episode next week. Uh, but for now... I want to wish everybody a happy weekend, particularly to all the moms out there. Shout out, happy Mother's Day. Um, but to everybody else, I also want to wish and extend the happiest of have a happy weekend. And I'll see you next week on another episode of Just a Few Things.